Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. I'm your independent Norwex consultant and today I wanted to show you my daughter is getting her own place and I wanted to show you what I'm equipping her with for her own place. Okay, so normally I recommend that everyone start with the Safe Haven 5. I don't have a complete Safe Haven 5 in here, but I'm also tailoring this to how much cleaning I think she's really going to do. So, out of the Safe Haven 5, we do have the first three pieces, and that is your Enviro cloth that scrubs everything, E for Enviro, everything. Your window cloth that polishes, so she will be able to clean all the toothpaste off the bathroom mirrors with these two cloths, and the bathroom counters, and the toilet, and anything else she needs to clean um, everywhere in her house with this everything Enviro cloth. Next up, I have the dusting mitt for her so that her house will be dust free. So this also is um, comes in a package, these three pieces together. And then the other part of the Safe Haven 5 that I have for her is the laundry detergent because one, it's the most economical way for her to clean her clothes but two, it's the best way to care for her cloth so that she can make sure she doesn't void the warranty and that they continue to remove 99% of bacteria. So she's getting these four pieces of out of the five from the Safe Haven Five. I do have the cleaning paste coming in for her. We'll see if she needs it or wants it. Um, I can't imagine not having it, but again, how much cleaning are you gonna do in your very first apartment? I'm not sure. Next up for her, I have a set of dryer balls. Again, sticking with the laundry gig, most economical way to wash your clothes, and the least toxic because dryer sheets are one of the most toxic things in your home. Then we have a counter cloth box set. Now she is missing one pack of counter cloths. I have to order her the other, but we have the little house for her and a set of three counter cloths. She wasn't sure about this. So we went through this bag together and decided what she would actually use. I didn't want her to take anything she wasn't going to use. And she was like, well, how absorbent are they? So we did the paper towel test. I measured out water and we put a paper towel in it. I measured out the same amount of water. We put the counter cloth in it and we saw that the counter cloth is definitely far more absorbent. And then the thought of $240 a year in paper towels made her decide she would take the counter cloth box set. So that's next up on her list. Then for her kitchen, sticking with her kitchen, I have two sets here. I have a kitchen towel and the kitchen cloths. And then I have another kitchen towel in the opposite weave and a kitchen cloth for her. So she will be able to a lot of people don't like to mix cloths from the kitchen to the bathroom. I'm one of those people. I know scientifically I can do it, but mentally I can't. So she'll be able to keep this cloth for her bathroom and then she'll have these cloths for her kitchen. And they also will remove 99% of the bacteria. Plus she'll have some nice microfiber towels that will have backlog. So they'll require laundering less often, which is probably perfect for your first place. In her kitchen, she will also have the dishwashing powder and the Rinse Aid Plus. Rinse Aid Plus replaces your Jet Dry and dishwashing powder, you all know what that is. So these are important so that she's not eating toxins off of, the, of her clean dishes. And of course, the netted dishcloth. So she's getting one netted dishcloth, as dumb as it looks, it is super scrubby, it holds no bacteria, so I don't want her to have any sponges in her kitchen. This will be the best way for her to wash dishes. Okay, next up is rounding out her bathroom. I gave her a forever spray bottle and I have filled it with the bathroom cleaner in here. So we have a nice label on it. It says bathroom cleaner. It's filled with the bathroom cleaner. So she'll be able to spray this in her toilet to clean the inside of her toilet. And then sometimes you need just a little extra something to scrub if you have extra soap scrum or build up because maybe she's not gonna clean as often in the bathroom. She'll be able to spray the shower down with this and clean with that. Now, in case she does clean more often than I'm anticipating, or even if she doesn't, but if she does, she can use the bathroom scrub mint 
you put your hand in it, you scrub with just water, you can remove 99% of bacteria in your shower and your soap scum and all the gross with just water in this cloth. Now, it or mint, if she lets it all build up and it won't come off, that's when she might need to spray down the shower with this. But truly, I think she should be just fine with just the mint. And then some soap for her bathroom sink and toothpaste because this is one of her very favorite items. And so that is it. I, oh, she's also getting a mop that's already packed in the car and she's getting an Enviro wand for dusting as well. So first apartment, this is what she's equipped with. Honestly, I think she has absolutely everything. I wanna order her one more set of countercloths for her box set. And then the only other thing I think she's truly missing is the um, dish soap for the sink for when you're hand washing dishes. So I'm gonna order her one of those. But if you're wondering what's on my personal list for a young person starting out or any person starting out, these are the things that I deemed must have as somebody who has a whole room full of all Norwex things. The, these are my suggestions. So thank you for watching and good luck. If you also have any kids starting out, reach out to me.